Pursue the passion. We travel the country and interview people, exposing you to the possibility one job at a time. So there's an old saying. They say golf is a lot like life. But don't believe them. Golf is a lot more complicated. If that's true, then Shirley Furlong must have it all figured out. This is Zach with Pursue the Passion, and today's interview is with former LPGA professional and current instructor at the Bird Academy of Golf, Shirley Furlong. I was 16, and I was playing golf on the high school team, and was watching the Colgate Dinosaur back then on television with my dad. And I pointed to the TV, and I said, that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to be playing in the Colgate Dinosaur. It was just stronger than any other, you know, desire that I'd had. So my dad said, okay, that's great. I'll tell you what it takes, and then you need to take some time to think about it. He told me that I had to give up all the other extracurricular activities and uh, focus on golf. I would live, eat, breathe, sleep golf. I got a golf scholarship to um, Texas A&M. Played college golf and qualified in 1984 for the LPGA Tour. One morning in Canada, I got up, I went to breakfast by myself, I went to the golf course, I practiced extra long and hard that day. Went to the room, went to dinner by myself, got up the next morning and went, you know, this isn't fun anymore. So yeah, I knew it was time to retire. My degree was in education, health and physical education was the closest I could get to golf really. So. Um, I started teaching here in the Valley. When the opportunity for bird golf came along, it actually blended everything that I wanted in teaching. I get to create a relationship with the students. I get to take them and see the progress over a three-day, four-day period, and actually help them advance their games. I love, love doing golf schools now. I guess commit is probably the biggest, the biggest, um, advice I could give. Dedicate yourself to practicing, focusing, learning more about it. The more experience you gain, it's like uh, filling up your arsenal. And it's for your own self satisfaction, I guess, that you set up your own goals and you set the stage for yourself to perform. When it comes down to it, it's you playing to the best of your ability. And hopefully you played it better than everybody else. And that's how you win. Awesome. All right. You rock.